Hello. And, um, I decided to do uh, EU roam uh, let's play and we're going to be playing as Rome yet, so that's the easiest one and I'm actually an actual noob at this game and uh, we'll be starting at the first point but let's just, the ferret wars just against the minor Greek states and then in, in 490 uh, it's the first Punic War against Rome versus Carthage Let's see a green is Carthage. This game um is quite cool actually. There is a lot of um it's quite historic, I guess. So then there's the second Punic War. And then the Syrian War. Obviously Rome conquers quite a lot of um Spain and a part of Greece. And then Mare Nostrum, I'm not really sure about this, but I guess it's coming up to Barbarians and stuff. Gaius Meros, um, I'm not exactly sure. And then Caesar's Gallic Wars is when it attacks most of Gaul. And then the Rebellion, uh, and then yeah, the Rebellion of Caesar against the Roman Empire. Pompey and then the first emperor Caesar. It doesn't go much further and um, the rebels obviously the um, Pompey and the rest that fighting. Yeah so we'll start at Circle. But I'm not really sure I'm not really good at this game. So give our best the easiest faction of players so yeah oh shit I've got my timer yeah I'll turn my sound down my background righty ho ho oh shit alright so this is the map we're put in political that shows me the map. So we have uh, some the bits at the top. If you haven't played an EU Roam or you know an EU game or Hearts of Iron, so I think you get most of this. Here's your stability. It basically um, <laughs> when you declare war, it reduces your stability, and then the people get angry and they rebel that's kind of basically it and you've got your manpower how many citizens you can recruit and stuff your gold uh monthly research points tyranny uh just uh characters and stuff and rebelling i'm not really sure it into me <laughs> and then you up here you get your task bars on your empire and stuff and we have our navy and our first legion and then you get your trade uh, diplomatic religious map mode and uh, regional and political and then terrain I advise sticking on political as you can see where you are but when you need to see where you can trade around your empire then I'll do that right so first we're going to start off of our we trade against uh, around our empire so Rome's going to be our main recruiting point so we we'll need uh, no we don't need stone we need wood it's okay um we need iron I think stone's a wall um, cloth ship construction speed so stones for walls and stuff yeah defensive manpower uh, grain so I think we'll go with cloth as I'll need that I don't read young cloth but I need it here we'll
Se nos si So that's our trade done. We we don't need to do any um, diplomatic because everyone hates Rome. Um, a sacrifice. Um, we need to do that, but with a sacrifice, <laughs> sacrificing increases your stability. Um, and when you declare war, because you've got the Senate, it doesn't affect your stability with Rome. Uh, oh, ideas. We will need infantry, and we can't do another one because we haven't got bloody thing. Civic. We need defensive. <laughs> okay. So we're our mirror military republic at the moment. Uh, oh, don't need to do that. Oh, no. Oh yes, we're at war with the uh, Epirus and Magna Gracius. Yes, Epirus. I'm, I'm a bit worried about Epirus because they got a huge navy. And I'm not really good at it. I'm calling in my eyes. Um, ooh, government. I need to do my senses. Uh, We need to do laws, but they have some negative effects as well. It's all in Latin, I'm not sure what it means. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the census job is. Purple, um, monthly wealth. I guess that's for my empire. leave him for it but I think I can employ him for something else so it doesn't matter right so we've got, we've got our first army but we need to employ a leader he's the best I think we've got crafty he's the console so we'll let our console be uh, the leader general Oh yeah, I know. Alright, six units. We need to split up an army for a minute. I'm not sure what their army's like, but 19th, 17th and 16th, and it will put to okay. We'll send that small army there, and we'll send our big army to attack there. So, start. Okay. Good. Marriage. Oh, my content marriage on. Okay, let's pause. The Senate coins. With the war agent Senate has noticed that some of our units lack commanders. They therefore command in the name of the people that you appoint Quintus Emilius Pappus to command to deny the Senate would be seen as pendant to the populists. I don't know if he's any good. Assertive. Oh no. I'm not I know what I can 
can do for to make them happy. Where's that guy? Aggressive. He's quite good. I don't maybe a bad decision, but I don't care. It's just kind of a let's fail LP. Mm. Alright, let's wait. Let's pause it and oh, it's done. Alright, so we won that. Shit, they're gonna they've fallen back there, so if we Um I need to pause right I'm gonna have to stop this guys. Um it's reaching up to ten minutes and no, I can't I don't want to render videos past ten minutes. So Thank you for watching, maybe I'll, um, I'll, I'll, I'll pre-do videos much longer, but maybe a couple of days when I have some time, but thanks for watching the first part of my L uh, Let's Play of Europa Universalis Rome. I hope you enjoyed this, please rate, comment and subscribe, and I will see you soon guys, thanks for watching.